Hello, this is Rich White, and I wanted to show another little version of this Web to World board that we've got. This one's using the Dabble board. It's a little bit different interface and uh, useful in, in certain projects that perhaps Gripple board isn't. It's a little bit cheaper for the Pro account. There's also a free version of the Dabble board that also lets you do this same functionality that I'm about to show. Um, another reason I like this is you can author these little board clippets, this content, into multiple worlds at once. For example, this exact content from this board is is being streamed into several different worlds, um, along with this spot in Reaction Grid. And where this is on Reaction Grid is at the Smithsonian Island. So if you're on Reaction Grid and you want to see it, tinker around with it, explore. It's on the Smithsonian Island and on Reaction Grid. Smithsonian Island is kind of back over here. You'll see the red, the little red island, and from there it's up. And this board, I'll have it in a few places, but it's uh, towards the back of the main building, which we're going to be editing soon and getting away, uh, doing away with. But you'll see the boards in world in a uh, world on that sim. They're on Reaction Grid, so just real quick, dabble board. This is what it looks like. I've got it running on our little Kindle Lab session um, or own Kindle Lab board but when you go to uh, dabble board you'll you'll see this same basic interface it'll say dabble board up here one of the things I like about it is real clean interface you can do freehand drawing um, pretty easily it's uh, a little bit easier without a mouse but I'm kind of freehanding with my mouse here doing just a little maybe a little quick flower or something here just to show how this works. And then, once I have a flower I like, it looks halfway decent, I'll go up here and I'll click the Save, and it'll say Saving, then it says Saved, and now that's authored in all the different worlds that I have this thing on, and of course here in, uh, in Reaction Grid. Now, uh, to edit it, You'll have to use a external web browser. It won't work on the internal web browser because this uses Flash. You just click this little green button, nothing fancy. You'll click it. It'll ask you if you want to go to page, and you'll launch it externally. And I've already got it here. But you can see how that works. You can also insert documents. So I could insert PDF, Word documents, uh, Excel spreadsheets, um, and convert those into in convert some bit of pictures. I can also insert, and let's go ahead and let's go to. Um, Kindle Lab image here from the web. Yeah, let's grab that one. Okay, that one. Oh, there it is. So let's grab a picture, insert it from the web. There we go. Let's scale it down here. And that's how you would scale and and move. It uh, also gives you this copy tool, which is kind of neat. So I can copy it. I want to have what I want. I'll remember, we've got to click that save button. And once it says saved, and then it's available in world, you just click the texture to kind of get the latest updates. It'll go out to the uh, to the server, and it'll grab the image of that latest latest update. Basically, what we're doing on this board when we click save, we're saving this to an image on the server so that it's accessible um, in world. And that's how that's how that basically works. There's a little script that runs. It's the script that actually is running is the um, dynamic image script. And uh, let this there it goes. It's refreshed itself. And uh, so that's how that works. So drop on by Reaction Grid, test it out, uh, tinker around with the little board. Um, let us know what you think. Definitely. Um, go to kindlelab.com if you want some help setting one up on your own sim. We can do that for you, help you with that. So uh, go check it out. Let us know if you have questions, kindlelab.com. And uh, I will see you in world, I'm sure.